Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Tower. Last time when we left off, we had cleared out the quaking cavern of the Earth world and had made our way back through the poisonous cavern, now empty of course, to the stone cavern, the next zone we're going to clear. So let's check this one out. Sorry, give me one second. In consult here, so to speak. I need a moment. I do apologize. <laughs> well, it feels silly to launch and then immediately get caught up dealing with an email, but that's how life is sometimes. One doesn't get to do the more reasonable thing. At least not in the time frame one would like. Close now. Closer and closer. <laughs> this is very silly. I really apologize. I, uh, will be done soon. So at least there's that. Just suddenly everyone wants to talk to me, and it's apparently urgent. All right, let's get back to this, at least to start. This is the stone cavern. So it has three levels. We need to, we start on the top and we're going to gradually drop down through the ones that remain. The important thing is to clear whatever level you're on before dropping to another one, because each drop functions as a point of no return, at least for quite some time. You can eventually make your way through all the levels and loop back through the tower, but it bears mentioning that it is a giant pain in the ass to do that. And we're going to be much better off if we can simply do it all in a single sweep. So with that in mind, let's begin. Over here, we have You look healthy. That's a good thing. Ah, uh, this is one of the healing potion traders. I'm doing fine on healing potions. That much is good. East is a dead end. South is also a dead end. West is the first drop to level two. That one is clear. All right. In this room, we have a cune in the corner next to these bones. and essentially a mine track to follow. Ooh, yikes. I 
do better. My dude. Ha! Get wrecked. Oh no, oh no. I approached too fast. That's my that's on me. Now it's dead. And what do you suppose this is? And what should we name the critter? Let's look at both those things. So what we just picked up Oh, it's a divine symbol. I've seen those before. Cure's curse. But what was the critter? That's the real question. That was a sloth bug. With its armored shell, this slow-moving but warlike monster attacks with sharpened claws and poison gas. Seemed like it was tough. No match for my bow. That's tough. Well, there's a sloth bug. What is that? Let's not miss. It's a waste of durability points, I think. I said let's not miss. Wonder if it's out of range. Alright, well, I'm definitely not missing. Maybe I need to aggro it first. That certainly seems possible. Alright, one more hit will do it. That was wild. What are these? So we got some kind of new footwear, and we've got another uh, steel boots, I think. Oh yeah, we already had a pair of those. And let's look at our creature book, too. That is a clay servant. This clay servant can cause great damage with its powerful strength, but it rarely attacks unless provoked. Oh, I guess I provoked it then. Huh. That's fine. <laughs> Hell, it's good even. Alright, let's roll. So that's a dead end. Go down the tunnel where the sloth bug was. That's also a dead end in the south there. You're wasting your time. Go home. Now, if the pattern holds, we're going to have a creature's entry for that thing. We do. The Dibbuk. A very cowardly but sly demon blinds and curses enemies with its dark gas and then quickly runs away. Oh, great. Status inflictions. Always my favorite in any RPG. <laughs> Alright, well... There's another dead end to the south here. We can go east, we can go west, but we should go north. We can continue north or go west. If we turn west here, there's an actual save point. 
We'll start there and we'll ex kind of explore outward from our ink save in case I ever make a bad save state. This will be good to have. Okay. Off we go. So here, let's go west first. This one that we passed. This room is empty. I mean, we'll scope it out. Not that there's a whole lot to see, but it looks like we're in a mining complex of some sort. And in here, we will have critters. Pretty horrible critters, I believe. I haven't even seen them yet. I hear them. Suddenly. Where did they spawn in? Not on the ceiling, are they? Nope, I don't see them. There is a chest here. Had a bottle of light in it. Wow, nothing appeared. That seems really bizarre. There's supposed to be a new critter in there called a hobble worm. And I definitely hear something in the back of the room. I'll be damned if I see it. Ooh, a secret door. Aha! I missed. Can't have that. I missed again. I still can't have that. There we go. I've been slowed. Ah, they see me. It seems. Bow is extremely powerful. All right, we got him. So uh, the slow should wear off eventually without too much trouble. Let's pick up what they dropped and let's see about their creatures entry too. That was a healing potion. Pull up my creature book right quick. That's a hobble worm. Giant caterpillar with crab legs and a human face attacks with its body and acid gas. Its laugh slows its victims. Great. What else got dropped? If anything. Well, the slow wore off. That's good. And that's it as far as drops go. Okay, that's fine. head back here and let's backtrack all the way to the f where we killed our first sloth bug take the passage that it was guarding I 
I hear something. Alright, let's continue north first. We got clay servants. And there's a sloth bug. What have we here? Harden leg guards. It's an upgrade. Nice. Seems I do have to aggro them before I can even hit them. That's okay. And it seems my bow is about to run out of durability, which is a shame. I don't have any Dorado's Ashes. I really don't want it to break completely. So let's see about other equipment. What did he just drop? That's what I'm curious about. A bastard sword, but it's completely broken. I can use my crushing mace. And in my left hand, I think the large shield of balance would be awesome. But I cannot also have my scale mail of curing on if I do that. Well, let's do a lighter shield. I can do my regular large shield. And I suppose that'll do just fine. Okay. That should be just about everything. There's a healing potion somewhere in this room as well. Let's make sure we find it. It's just over in this corner. Chillin', although apparently I have to go a long loop around these. Slightly annoying. But only slightly. All right. head over here. Let's see, this is an empty room. And this has looped me all the way back thought it looped me to the save point. Hobble worm. They finally spawned like they were supposed to. One of them did anyway. Okay. So I found my way back to the hobble worm room, and now they've spawned in what the way they were originally supposed to. Hello.
which means, of course, that we were back at the original four-way junction. So if we head north, we'll hit a save point. Off to the left. Let's try this way. Oh, it's a dead end. Go figure. Okay, then. And so if we head all the way north in here... find some rails, and if we head east, remember these things? Demon bats. We saw them way back in the human world, in the very first region, if memory serves. A terrible, horrible, no good, very bad ranged attack. Alright, did any of them drop anything? No, they did not. There's a chest in the room that should have a bottle of light inside. So it does. I wonder if those were exactly the same or if they have a new creature's entry. No new entry. Alright, they are they were the same. Alright. This is the key item we need. Blue crystal. Check it out. Earth world candle fuel. Don't fret if that sounds confusing to you, it is to me too. From here. We can head all the way back to the hole that the Dybbuk dug for us in the first place. If I can find it, that is. I think it was through here. And drop down to level 3. Ah, good, there it is. All right, Mr. Dybbuk. Right, keep going all the way north for now, and we'll encounter new critters. Also drop new items. Let's see about both of these. Item first. Sacred Feather warps user to the last save spot. That's pretty handy. And the critter is a crying root. Plant-like animal with human shape. Usually buried, it leaps up when attacked and paralyzes with its voice. Well, that doesn't sound very good. Didn't happen on the first one. I was going to say, let's deal with you. 
I think I have to let him come out of the ground before I can hit him. Dropped another sacred feather. That's neat. We have a Kuhn in here. There should be a bottle of light as well. Oh, and there's another there's another critter. Let's do that first. Dropped another sacred feather. That's fun. And there's a bottle of light inside the chest, as always. And I think that's it for this room. Let's try this one. There's a chest in here. There's a healing potion. And there's the Dybbuk. We need to kill him. Murder! Someone help! Someone help! Some, someone help! Murder! Someone help! When he dies, he drops a ring we need. This is the... Should be the caustic ring. Which I think is probably an upgrade from the Ring of Poison. It certainly is stat-wise. And we can use the spell Bubble Shower. It sounds like acid instead of poison. Which sounds neater to me. Okay. So that's it, so... We can now navigate to the exit of this world, and we can be done with this episode. Wasn't a terribly long region. So from where we dropped down, we could have headed... We dropped down in the middle of that tunnel. So we had this big empty chamber, which I've now explored. And when we head south, we find the portal to the next world. Which should be the False Pit Cavern. Alright. That's going to do it for this episode of Shadow Let's Play Shadow Tower. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, I hope you'll give the video a like and consider subbing to the channel. If you want to discuss this or any of my other content, the best place to do that is my Discord server. That link is in the video description. And if you want to support the channel, the best place to do that is also in the... I'm sorry, it's also in the video description. Uh, it's through my Patreon. Patreon supporters get to nominate and vote for the games they'd like to see played on the channel. So if that appeals to you, that option is there. Regardless, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.